Hey guys, it's already windy season here and all my friends fly their park jets models. I cannot enjoy FPV flying with Piper Cherokee again, so I need a small park jet to fly into the wind. I plan to make park jet series, this Rafale is for the start. Actually, I'm in the middle of building an A-10 Warhawk and decided to venture a bit making Rafale park jet. The wingspan is about 650mm only or about 25.6 inch. Also, I want to try a new method for coloring the model using plastic primer. And also making a catapult launcher for it and future park jets. Okay, let's start build it. To be able to join two parts on corner, you need to sand both edges 45 degrees slope profile like this. And then glue it bit by bit like this. As you know, packing tips is very hard to paint, so I will try to coat it first with plastic primer before applying paint.
I found this model is very hard to hold with one hand, so maybe I need to build a catapult launcher for it. In the past, I already tried, but it didn't work well, and I scrapped it after a single failed trial. I need to find a launcher design that suits my need. This one that built by this guy is brilliant. I want to make it like that. I think using a pulley like that is very clever. Instead of having to pull your bungee far away to the front from the launcher, like in this video, you can attach the bungee rope back to the launcher like the first video. But this guy here teach me two things. To put the hook in front of the CG and use string on the catapult rope, not on the plane like what I did in the past. On the first video, I cannot see how the trigger looks like, but in this third video, the trigger is very simple. I think I will use that. Okay, by using that three videos, I model the launcher in Blender like this and break it down. It looks like I need three pipes of 1 inch PVC pipes, 4 meter each, 10 knee elbows, and 12 T elbows. It's time to go to the material store. And after several hours, the pipes have arrived. It's time to work. I use this kind of bungee, the bungee for exercising. I place it here and then connect it to a rope. At first, I use a pulley like this, but the rope is always slip out. So here, I added plywood on the pulley and become like this. This pulley is very important to maintain the energy from the bungee rope. So the energy is not wasted because of the friction like this. Here's how it works. There are two bungee ropes or rubber bands connected to the lower pipes here and connected to a rope on the other end. The rope then make a U-turn via a pulley here and connect it to Y connection, one connected to the trigger and one connected to the hook on the plane. When this trigger push down, it will release the ring and propel the plane forward, just like that. This Rafale model is my second RC plane with Kennard. The first one is this model. It was a failed project, it's modified Velocity XL. It never fly correctly, even though I already calculated the CG carefully. So this time I won't calculate the CG again. I think it's easier to copy the CG location from the model that already proven. So here I copy the CG location from FMS site, the Rafale RC EDF user manual. And then I overlay the drawing and stretch it a bit to match the wing shape and I have the CG location here on this line. But the canard position is not the same. That makes the CG location is not valid. But at least I have the preliminary position. I will tweak it while testing it to fly. What I'm doing here is just to make sure the CG is safe for test flight. You can see how the plane react when I toss it like that. Straight line and the nose pointed down is what I'm after. Okay, here's the first try. The plane just looping like that. Maybe the throwing that was wrong. So we change how to toss it this time. At first it flies straight but when I correct the elevator it suddenly pitch up like that. Maybe because the canard. At first I angled the canard so it will pitch up to counter the tailor's pitch down tendency. After make the canard angle of incidence level as the wing we try it again. It looks better but the prop struck one of the motor cable and disconnect it. We try again after solder the cable. Hmm. Try again. The control is too sensitive, so I reduce the weight or the rate of the elevator to 50%. Nice, the jet is getting tame, but roll movement is still too sensitive. 
after aileron trimming it's getting better Try again with 50% rate both on elevator and aileron. Finally, now it's easy to control, but still I need to adjust the elephant down a bit to be able to fly straight. Now it's controllable but with slightly pitch up, but the trim is already reached the end of trim. So I need to adjust it mechanically on its push rods. Okay, next is launching it with catapult. I never thought about this problem. The nose of the jet with the battery installed is pointed down. It may cause a problem. So I use a stick beneath the nose to prevent the nose toe pointing down. First try is failed. I try again with my friend's plane. It looks weak too. Luckily, my friend Darsim borrows me his rubber bands that he used to tie his plane for transport. The rubber band is from wasted tire like this. It's finally working. Okay, the final setup is attach the canard leveled as the wing, pitch down a bit on the elephant. The final CG is moving forward 2 cm or about 5 cm from this breakpoint. The plastic primer is working well, you can see here there are no chipping paint visible. If we though it's scratching the ground multiple times. And for the launcher you need more strong rubber bands and bungee. Thanks for watching.